Hey, everybody. <laughs> okay, another day. Another Friday. Another Friday. What are we doing this Friday? Well, um, so skipping ahead to birthdays here. Yes. We've got some friends with birthdays. But let's start with the main event. Okay. Coming up on Monday uh, is what would have been... Betty White's 100th birthday. Love her so much. Yeah, you, oh. you know you're doing something right if you live to almost 100 and people still think you go too soon. Totally. So um, Betty White was once quoted as uh, when somebody asked her the secret to her longevity um, that uh, she ate hot dogs <laughs> and drank vodka. Uh, specifically vodka with lemon. So, oh, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, I love the vodka, but yeah, vodka with lemon. So we got we had the hot dogs. <laughs> uh, is that what we're having for dinner? Yeah, apparently we're having hot dogs. Yeah, how'd that work out for you for lunch, John? Um, yeah, it was, it yeah. was great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had yeah. a little bit of an incident. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. Um, so, in the spirit of keeping everybody healthy and living till they're ninety-nine and then some. Uh, we're going to mix up some vodka and lemon in honor of Betty White's 100th birthday. Yay. Other birthdays, though, um, we've got my friend Mike Cunliffe. Mm -hmm. uh, I think turned the big 4-0 this, uh, that would be yesterday. I wow. Happy so happy birthday, Mike. Yeah, and my cousin Brenda. And yeah. I believe her daughter Maddie as well. So happy birthday to you. Yeah, um, Jeff Tate from Queensryche, his birthday is today. <laughs> nice. uh, so, you know, me and Jeff, we go mm -hmm. way back. So, hey, Jeff, know you're watching these. Rock on, buddy. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, um, so let's do the Betty White one first. Um, she said she, uh, she likes drinking vodka with lemon. Um, the, the appropriate thing to do here, I think, would be to make a lemon drop martini. Oh, totally. And I'm pretty excited because I've actually stopped drinking. I know it's crazy. Now, from now until the end of February. So I'm drinking water. But on happy hours, I absolutely, I'm not, you know, completely quitting because I get to actually taste the, the drink. So I'm super excited. <laughs> I get a sip. Yay. And Rosemary, I can see you're on. I hope you have a big glass of wine with you. Or a cocktail, maybe. Sure. I have not stopped drinking, just in case anyone's really worried about it. But no. I, I, know, I knew you all would, would know that for sure. So we're going to start with um, vodka, of course, in our lemon drop. Well, actually, first, what we've done. Um, we've done uh, the sugar rim on the drink now because, because you can adjust the sweetness on this. I've done that thing that I did before where you put sugar on the rim on half of it. Nice. And the sugar is mixed with, it's like a third of a cup of regular white granulated sugar and a tablespoon of lemon zest. And you kind of knead it with your hands until it's like the consistency of wet sand. Um, then you roll the, you, you put some lemon on the glass. So you've been putting your fingers all into this lemon rim? Yep. Oh, hooray, that's great. I look forward to it. Hey, Jill. Um, now, the thing is, sometimes that stuff doesn't like to stick so much. So, I did that before refrigerating the glass. I find putting the glass in the freezer after you do that helps hold the, uh, the sugar rim to the glass a little bit. Nice, I'm going to try it. Anyway, this is, this is very basically a vodka lemonade. Mm, it's good. The lemonade is just quite concentrated here. So we've got two ounces premium vodka. We're going to go one ounce fresh squeezed lemon. Hi, Marilyn. <coughs> and hi, Gail. I know you're with Marilyn. <laughs> All right. And we are going to use... Make a lemon drop. Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Just going to use the... Plain old simple syrup on this one. Three quarters of an ounce? Yeah, so you can, well, you can adjust it. Yeah. You can go anywhere from, yeah, so you, you want to try a little less? Yes, please. Okay, we're going to go halfway in between 
half an ounce and then some, how about? Okay. I'm sweet enough. There you go. So I'm going to give this a shake. Alrighty. So basically we got, what, vodka and... It's real simple, three ingredients. Not counting the, the rim sugar thing. Okay. We got, I'm going to try doing it under the table here. See if it cuts down the noise. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. No big girls? No. It's like a shake, 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 right? <laughs> then she put on some Morocco music. Exactly. We could be singing during this to try that out. I'm like, excited. Like any martini, get an ice cold. Frosting up her hands. It is doing that, yes. So when you say that Betty White like lemon with vodka, like what does she what does she drink? Does she I drink don't know if she just oh. had a squeeze of lemon and vodka. I couldn't I couldn't find it. Like shoot specifically. it, and suck on the lemon. <laughs> she might. Know. Who knows? She was a badass. So. Yeah. Hot dogs. I'm still getting over that one. Double strain. Cool. I wonder if she was just shitting the guy when she said it. Oh, was probably. Hot dog <laughs> it's probably completely healthy. <laughs> Then again, you know, my dad's getting up there and he likes to have his beer and but he's healthy. Joanne make, keeps him takes care of him, so we should do a an episode on what he likes to drink. Oh, it's his birthday coming up. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna do what dad likes to drink. Yeah, what Jim likes. Because it's your birthday too. But we'll do your birthday, then we'll do We're gonna ignore my birthday. No, this we're year. not. It's yeah, next we week. Are. It's next week, people. Yes. So you're gonna be old, old, old. We're expressing some of the lemon oil out of the zest. Okay, and that's it? That, uh, that would be the deal, yes. Oh boy, look at this. Doesn't this look delicious? Oh, that looks absolutely amazing. Okay, I'm going to give it a whirl. So I'll try it on the sweet side. Look at me trying to get my two steps in. <laughs> I'm going to try it on the sweet side with the, um, the rim. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Oh, it's really tart. That's delicious though. I like it with the lemon sugar. Let me just try the other side. So if it's too tart. Oh, I like it though. Mmm. Oh, that's good. I really like it. Wanna try? Yes, I do. Alrighty. Oh yeah, that's totally refreshing. So, oh, yum. Mrs. White. Oh, oh yeah. Cheers to Betty. Cheers to Betty. Do you like it? You could have more simple syrup. You probably would like it. No, no? Actually, I think it's I think it's pretty much right there. Oh, okay, cool. The vodka really comes through, though. I mean, it's lemon, it's lemon vodka almost. I couldn't even really taste the vodka, which is a problem. Um, you could, I can. There is mm. um, a lot of varieties of this that call for so uh, lemon flavored vodka. I chose to go for the one that isn't. Because um, I feel like it gives you more control uh, if you use, if you add all the lemon flavor yourself. Okay. What are we doing with this apple? Well, it always scares me. It's big knives out. Since we, um, <clears throat> since we got the vodka out, I figured uh, you know we might as well mix up some other stuff. <laughs> so cool. we're gonna mix up a kind of a uh, a bit of a take on the Moscow Mule. This one is called the Apple Cider Mule. Do you get to put it, do you put it in one of those fancy mule glasses, like the copper things? Yeah, then you can't really see that. Oh, I see. Okay. Also, okay. the, the um, I tried that. It, it kind of doesn't work out with the amount. Oh, It makes too much. too much for that little copper glass thing. Okay. You definitely could use the copper glass for, for the mule. Anyway, you're gonna start out with, um, this time around we're just gonna do it an ounce and a half of vodka. Uh, still using the fancy stuff, cool. Yeah, why not? Sure. Why not, eh? Why not? <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. There you go. Ounce and a half of that. I'm gonna go a full ounce of lime juice. Holy crap. This is the lime. 
So John was practicing on these last night. Um, but you know, in all fairness, you had your little booster shot yesterday. Yeah, right? I'm a booster. Yeah. So he comes home and he's practicing. He makes up these drinks and he drank two. Two of I, these. I'm not sure if, if they need to hear that. Yes, you do. It's really funny. Anyways, he had two of these. You just plastered like loop de loop. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was pretty funny. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Like, like I couldn't stand up, Blaster. He missed Jeopardy. Like, he didn't even make Wheel of Fortune. Put it that way. They were in bed by 7 o'clock. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, it was pretty funny. So how much of this is in here? Half an ounce of ginger syrup. Um, this is ginger simple syrup. A cup of sugar, a cup of water. And about an inch of ginger root. Peeled and cut into chunks. You do it the usual way, you bring it to a boil, you um, simmer it for about a minute, and then you let it steep for an hour or more. Oh, cool. Um, strain the uh, chunkies out, and you've got ginger simple syrup. It's a technical term. So, did you put the cider in yet? No, uh, we're going to shake this and get it cold, so putting anything fizzy in it would mm. probably be uh, not a good idea. I'm going to try and read what you wrote, Trish, and I'm just so blind. Hey, while you're over there, could you oh, grab the... Oh, happy Friday. Yay. Could you grab the soda water from out of the... The soda water? Yeah. Uh-oh. From, from the fridge. Soda, like, soda what stream. Hold on, here. Once again, we're getting this real cold. The apple part of this comes from apple cider. I'm using cider from the guys at the street at Marydale Cider. They have several delicious ciders. Now, the traditional one, in this, well, they have a traditional, a house, and something called Memoro. Memora? Memoro. I really Memoro. like that. I'm yeah. sure the recipe intended to use a traditional or a house cider. I'm going to use that because it's just so tasty. Oh, cool. I think, I think Trish is asking whether or not you could use a gin in the lemon drop. Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. I think it'd be actually delicious. Actually. I was just going with vodka because it was the Betty White. Oh, yeah. Cause, well, actually, you know, if the gin is clean enough, I'd say yeah. Otherwise, it could kind of, well, yeah, experiment. Like, why not? Of course, that may not be what she said at all. So we'll find out afterwards. <laughs> I really got to bring my glasses so, to this thing. So uh, Trish, uses, Trish uses aviation. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit floral. Yeah, I bet that would, I bet that would go really good. We need to get together and do a bunch of research on this. Stuff. Oh, that is what she said. Okay, I can see now. I, I just brought it up. All right, cool. <laughs> Jeez, John, you're quite noisy. And yeah, Trish said aviation gin. Yes. Yep. There you go. The Ryan Reynolds gin. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. What is Ryan? Yeah, never mind. Okay. <laughs> yes, research, says Trish. <laughs> oh, yeah. Research, that's it. Yeah. So you take that mixer, you give it just, just a splash of soda water. Like I said, we're going to use... Mary Dale's Mamoro. I wonder, I haven't tried that. Boy, I guess I'm gonna have to try that just on its own too. Yeah, it's tasty stuff. Which gives it a nice kind of blush color. Pretty. Uh, and now, give it a little stir because the cider does it you tend you to want to float. It makes you behind all your plastic appliances. Yeah. There you go. Too much stuff. And then, as I've got a very thin slice of apple here. Do you take the seeds out? <laughs> no. This is, I demanding? This is just to garnish. Okay. So, it'll float there like that. Pretty. And, and or, I'm doing both, but you know, I, I wouldn't bother if I were you. We can float a skewer. Let's do this slightly differently here. Did you have too much a, booze? A candy ginger. Never. Do you have too much booze? She said. What's wrong with me? <laughs> really? This is what happens when you stop drinking. It's for like a what's week. with this sober January, February crap? Good lord! I'm gonna be so much better for it. Okay, check that out. 
Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And look at the snacks you get on top. I'm going to have the snacks later. That'll be good. Okay. So it's got ginger. It's got apple. I mean, solder used to be my thing, right? Let's cheer it. Mm. Oh, I'm drooling all over myself. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, boy. Yeah, from what I remember of last night, I really mm. enjoyed it. Oh, my God. This is so good. You really have to try this. This is, wow, maybe because I haven't been drinking, but this so is really, really good. There's an ounce and a half of vodka. It isn't really a f even a full double pour. Mm. Mm. A splash of cider, two of those, and I was on my ass. Oh, yeah. That was yummy. Either I'm becoming a real cheap date. <laughs> or these kick ass. Or these kick ass, but they don't. Because it's not really that much. much. No. Or else it was a side effect of the boost. Other than that, no. Yeah. Wow, that's really, really good. This must be, I'm going to smell it. This, I think he's right. Like this cider is, mmm, yum. Yeah, that's just flat out delicious. Okay. One of my new favorite drinks, for sure. So, going to have to give that a whirl. Did I actually do that? What a dumbass. What did you do? Well, I need to do stuff here first. Oh, okay. The next one, our last vodka drink of the evening. I keep having that vodka drink. Song? It's got a the song she sang about uh, the good times. He has a lager drink. He has a cider Vod drink. He has a vodka drink. Anyways, wait a minute. Whatever. I can't remember. <laughs> All right. So this one cracks me up. This one. What is this called? Cool hand cuke. I didn't name it. All right. <laughs> what is a cool hand cuke? I mean, come on. Seriously. Well, like, it's a play on cool hand Luke. Oh, I didn't know what Cool Hand Luke was. Yeah, it's, I think it was a Western. I'm sure you all know better than I do. Really? Yeah, oh, um, there you go. Cool Hand Luke is a Clint Eastwood thing, isn't it? Oh, that explains one of those. Was... One of those old ones. Anyway, so Cool Hand Cuke. Yeah. Again, don't blame me. I didn't. So, as you might have guessed from the name, we're using cucumber in it. It says put in four slices of cucumber and muddle it in the bottom. Okay. I'm using these little English cucumber things, which, um, which is they're very, they're very small. It's like, it's like a cucumber getting out of the cold swimming pool. Um, so I'm using about eight tiny little slices of that too. And remember, the muddle is just press and turn, press and turn. We're not, we're not trying to obliterate. Got it. And that's okay. because you got a small cucumber and you didn't get a big cucumber? There wasn't any. Oh, I see. All the big cucumbers. I couldn't find, yeah. All the <laughs> big, uh, <laughs> big, a lot of demand for the larger cucumbers. I wonder why. Pandemic, I guess. <laughs> we'll just leave that alone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Moving along. Right. Once and a half of vodka in that. Mm. This one, we're going to use some honey syrup. Honey syrup is equal parts honey and hot water. Stir it up. It just it just means that you can work with it, really. It waters down the drink a little bit, but nothing terrible. So we're going to go three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup. We're going to go half an ounce of fresh lime juice. I have not tried this. I have no idea what it's going to taste like, so okay. Honey and lime yeah, juice. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't tried this either. Um, oh. <laughs> I was going to try it last night, but why well, do I know how that ended? <clears throat> uh, yeah, too bad. And then this Aperol. And a quarter of an ounce of Aperol. This is going to be interesting. I have no idea what this is going to taste like. I can't even imagine it. It's Because uh, Aperol is kind of bitterish, isn't it? Mm hmm Yeah. All right. And we're going to shake. Yeah. You know. No, I don't. Would you mind grabbing me a coupe glass from down there? Okay, all right. There's no way that's going to fill a Collins glass. Again, you know, this is why I make these things in advance. So they don't look like too big of an idiot, but ah, you all know me by now anyway, don't you? That's okay. Give this it is a, a coupe glass. So we're going to give it a dry shake first. Remember what that is? That's with no ice. A little shake with no ice just to get the... Cucumber in. All right. 
I'm going to add the ice. Just going to bring up my lemon drops. Really. I definitely got to strain this one. Otherwise, you get that mess that keeps them. Don't necessarily want that. Oh boy. <sighs> what are you going to garnish this one with? Cucumber slices. Oh, shocking. Okay. Yes. Kill Surprise. Oh, it's kind of pink. What? Oh, I guess that makes sense. It's just after all stuff is kind yeah. of pink, right? Yeah, so like I said, that wouldn't have really, that would have been a, a fairly uh, insignificant looking drink in this, even if I had filled it with ice. Yeah. So then you take a few of these little cucumber slices. And you float them in. And you float them on the top. And then they soak up the booze, another little snack. Okay. Yes. <laughs> just remember yucca box. Drinking the salad. Oh, I tell you, you gotta just be efficient. Get your food in. Well, don't watch me. Okay. Let's There's go. a whole bunch of cucumber drinks. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Um, that looks yummy. Okay. And we'll do, uh, if anyone's still watching us by the time the summer rolls back around, <laughs> we'll do some, uh, well, even if, even if you're not watching, I'm Doesn't still going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do some cucumber drinks because there's nothing that says summer like cucumber and oh, goes well so with mint and, and basil oh, and stuff. Oh, this is so good. He's not getting it. Oh. Mm-hmm. You know, you wouldn't even understand it, but it's that refreshing cucumber. Obviously, it's got cucumbers in it, so duh. But it, it's really kind of refreshing. It's like one of those palate things when you're eating a dinner and you go in between meals and you have that. That's good, hey? Holy crap. I know. <laughs> just like shocking. Who knew? <laughs> just who knew? Help! How am I supposed to do like the honey? <laughs> the honey uh, helps with the sort of the bitterness crop. No, just kind of the I guess the mouth feel, kind of a, a very the mouth feel. Yeah, I'm learning that. I'm learning lots of terminology out of this course. <laughs> mouth feel, astringent. I oh, you know what I learned? I learned that fresh squeezed lemon and lime juice, fresh squeezed citrus juice actually improves for about four hours after you squeeze it. It gets really? slightly better and then it starts to degrade. Oh, okay. So, um, not a huge amount, but what it means is that if you're having a cocktail party or some friends over or whatever, you can pre-squeeze this and it's not gonna degrade by the time your friends come, as long as you don't do it a week in advance. Oh, cool. Well, yeah. that, that's delicious. And the lemon drop, you know, cheers again, Betty. Holy crap, that's that's really yummy. Yes. And I'm loving this too, and this is really mean. Because <laughs> none of these I'm getting to drink. <laughs> that's okay. I'll, I'll just eat the fruit, right? And the candies. I'll make you some hot dogs. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's just awesome. <laughs> yeah, she's going to be cranky. <laughs> it's fine. Going to be. <laughs> I'm trying. Yes, I my know. very best. I'm doing well with my little so, you know, soda water. Oh well, to love you. It's your birthday next week, though. That's a different. It is. Yeah. Take a little break for that. So, yeah. So, what do you what do you want to um, what do you want me? To, I'm going to make the drinks next week. I'm going to be making them for John. So, what am I going to be making you? Do you know yet? Well, since it's my birthday, I thought maybe we could go with the theme of drinks that are really, really old. Okay. I'm older than you. Thanks. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> it's not even nice. Try not to be cranky. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, well. No, no one believes that anyway. All right, well, we're going to figure it out, and um, I have no idea how this is going to work. I'm going to give it a try and uh, try to make new drinks, which would probably be hilarious because it's, you know, I have no clue how to do it. You're still loving that, aren't you? Yeah. All right. Yeah, totally. Okay. Okay, people. Well, have a great weekend. Um, and Thank you. Uh, enjoy some lemony vodka goodness on uh, Betty White's birthday. Uh, yeah, and she's got that thing going if you uh, donate to the animal shelters, right, on her birthday. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're going to do that. So if you love animals, do that. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I, I, I think virtually everyone that watches us loves animals. Of course. All right. 
Yeah. All right. Well, have a great evening, you guys. And um, swear to God, I'm not drinking these. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> see you next week. Cheers. Take care.